So it, it was kind of trying to look ahead enough to understand because we knew that we had like the strings coming in later, which we placed in the very center of the room. So they had like drums behind them and, you know, so doing things to be like, how, how are we building something that, that even though I can mix it, I'm not going to get very far from the way this sounds. So I have to track it to come out the way that it wants to sound. Do you remember even how you tracked the strings with the fact that you had drums like in the room right next to them live? Yeah, and uh, baffled things off, but were they were they actually mic'd? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and that you know was a combination of uh, I, as I opposed think, to, uh, or actually, I'm sorry, did they have clip-on mics or did they actually have like? I think only mics? one of them showed up with a clip-on mic, and the rest uh -huh. of it was all. There might have been. I think the flute actually had had a mic in her flute because I remember mixing it. That it, you know, in terms of how to get these things to speak in the mix. Yeah. Some of them were much easier than others, and the flute was always like really present. And maybe one of the violins might have actually had some sort of like a DI or a clip on mic, but but it was very it was a combination of you know like an area yeah, mic yeah, yeah. and then close up mics. I mean, there was definitely a massive amount of tracks being cut uh, at the same time, and I definitely remember there being like I think like a U forty seven like in the middle of all of them, and there might have even been like a pair trying to get that but that was very much the drums were like right behind them so but they, there was a huge baffle this uh, um that we put up all the baffles that we had, had. yeah that, Not that it, it, it helped but it was still like just such a live yeah. room like you said yeah um did uh we used uh, so they have back then i think they still have it there but they had a uh, um an api an old api 48 channel or something i think yeah yeah I, you, we were using every single channel, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying and to maybe remember. even something else. Did I, I? I wonder if I brought my. I think Neve you brought a Neve car. Summer or something. Yeah, like I think I brought my Neve sidecar. I've got like a little 12 channel Neve and brought that in, and uh, and then they had some outboard. But yeah, we were at maximum track count for what they actually had. I'm trying to remember if we had to get our hands on a different converter because i think we might yeah, have i think i brought there. a converter yeah i think i think it was or jerry brought his he brought an extra one i think that he had for us yeah i i think we used every good microphone they had and then i think i also yeah. brought microphones oh i brought all of my mics yeah and we had a ton yeah. of microphones in that room yeah yeah, it was, it was microphones just everywhere. Just just everywhere. Yeah. And yeah. that's kind of what I mean. Like in that sense, I, I will tend to over mic stuff. Um, and it's usually not like in the example of a drum set, it's not like the top and the bottom, like on the top, on the toms, it's not like close mic individual stuff, but I will try and put as many things that are sort of area mics in hopes to pick up something that's close to a couple of things going together. I, I seem to really like that. Um, and I feel like it, there's a naturalness to it, or maybe it's just, you know, again, it's similar to, I think the way like old jazz records uh, were recorded where you really got, you know, in particular, like the sound of, the, of a drum set, even though there's individual drums in there, to me, when I walk in a room and I hear a drummer playing, I tend to hear one instrument. Yeah. It's got like a complexity to it. And that tends to be how I approach it uh, more than I'm all that interested in that sort of isolated individual fragmentation of the thing. Although that can also be super, super awesome. But so, yeah, we had mics freaking all over the place and, um, and baffles everywhere. And it, you know, like it was, well, we had, I mean, each one of us had like a station in there. It was, yeah. remember, it was like a spaceship state. I mean, I had like a crazy spaceship station with my own mixer and effects. And since the Thor had a vibraphone, uh, a marimba, yeah. uh, all his cymbals and his little percussion instruments, he makes his own instruments and he trombone and clarinet, et cetera. Yeah. Zod had all his stuff in multiple basses and synths. And so it was like a really, really complex instrumental setup outside of the, and then you bring in all these players, like on the Laraji section, you mentioned like the string players are in the center of the room. 
when Laraji and RG came in, they were in the center of the room. Yeah. yeah. It was like the focus. I had crystal balls like lined up in front of us and our, or actually, no, I don't, I didn't play crystal balls on that. I did in the live show. I just don't think yeah, there, there was a, there was a piece. And I remember the bowls being around like before the strings got there, the area we were using them in those... occupied ended up sort of being like where that station was. And I think you were doing stuff during the day with them. And, you know, we there was the that part of it. There was a lot of changeover. There were a lot of modes that we needed to, you know, that we set up in advance to be able to say that, there's a lot of auxiliary information sitting here and it needs to already be in here because when we switch into that mode, it's going to be in between the, the morning session and the night session. There's going to be the afternoon one. And I don't think we recorded every one of those or maybe we did, but I know that with, that we had like the meditations, a few of those were like also recorded in particular where you use the bulls. So it was really like, you know, you, you said it a few minutes ago, the stations, there were many stations that were sort of set up and this like very complicated thing that was basically often only components of the full setup were actively being used. Uh, but they were all set up. And, you know, even for that, I remember in mixing that there was, it was definitely like a lot of things that I was able to take some random microphone and process something that might have just been sitting there like on a bowl that wasn't being used and actually grab that and sort of like you know isolate it distort it like process it in a way that sort of pulled out one person's performance in a way that might have alluded that we did a lot of processing to say the actual guitar tracks when in fact it was like some other microphone that was just there that was kind of like annihilated from what it originally sounded like and added to the picture. Um, and I think that, 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 that also even speaks, you know, to me, the, the concern that I might've expressed about the improvisation thing, is also reflected in like how you mix something like that and like where you come up with the right balance of things that say that you accurately show what happened, but acknowledge on some level that production is important to people listening to records, you know, off of a medium kind of to make up for things that you're not all that worried about when somebody's in the room and they can watch something, you know, they're entertained by seeing it because you can, you know, look at different things and your, uh, your attention is drawn to certain things. Whereas in a record, it becomes, you know, I think the, the origination of production has a lot to do with church trying to overcome it being boring in a way uh, because it can't be what live is. So how do you thrill people? So there was a few little moments like that that I think all these extra microphones like facilitated. And then certainly like a lot of sort of like puzzle piece. I don't remember now because I know I was, I was trying to create an arc and an amount of times where you really felt like this was an honest representation of what happened just documentary style versus like coming into something that alluded enough to what you were used to in a record production. 